Did you just stop fighting the fight? Did someone tell you that it's not worth it? That you will not get that job? That the contract won't go through? And because of what they said, and how you now beginning to feel, you are now feeling defeated just like they felt. That the fight you prayed, even fasted for, petitioned the Lord both, day and night in fervent prayer. This dream you believed, that you had already won. Now does the same dream feel like it is no longer worth pursuing? Dearly beloved, please do not do this to yourself. Because you are almost there, please hear me. If the road feels too tough right now, what you can do is sit for a moment. Start reflecting on this word of truth, you within the sound of my voice today. Take a moment to think through what you have prayed to God for and worked through to this point. Do this before you lay down your tools in total despair, sister or brother of faith. Please, it's not time to give up. Rather, it is time to take a moment with the Lord in deep reflection. Because it worked for me, and it did for the many believers and even unbelievers. You see, when we place our hope in God and hold on to His Word, we get this assurance and courage to be joyful. The kind of joy that sings gratitude and thanksgiving to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in all circumstances. When we look at the Word of God as spoken by the Apostle Paul, we see that it holds true even to us today. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul was determined to send this message to Christ's followers. The importance of this message, as we see, lays in the fact that almost every Christian is afflicted at one point in time or the other. It does not matter which time you are born. Paul's message to the Corinthians, therefore, is as important and very relevant to us today as it was back in his time. Paul continues to encourage each one of us believers, including those on the journey to discover Christ, to begin to rejoice always, to pray continually, and to give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So, if we can live out these words, if we can just hold on to God, no matter what we can overcome all the obstacles and troubles we face in this world, now in Romans 1 verse 16, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. My sister or brother, you within the sound of my voice today, I want to encourage you to listen to these Bible words. As humans, we tend to take pride in several mundane worldly things. Some of these are important to our daily lives, such as food, shelter, comfort items, such as cars, and other luxury items. There are material things, or even fame and titles we can feel proud of. Yet there are many other who have things they rather not be proud of. In the Gospel of Jesus, one of those things we feel ashamed about. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. As children of God, we do not need to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection, the restorative joy that his redemptive work on the cross brought us, valued highly as atonement of our sins, the gift of Christ's blood that atoned for every sin, that brought us to the saving grace of God, is nothing to be shameful about at all children of God. Today, I would like you to say this prayer with me. I encourage you to say in confidence along with me, wherever you are, if you can. 
shall we bow and pray. Dear Lord and Father, it is my desire to become a follower of Christ. Today, I declare that I am a follower of Jesus. I am Christian, born again, cleansed, purchased, and redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Through faith, I believe and accept the one true God who came down from heaven to live amongst men. God amongst men who lived as man and lived his life as an example to me, that though I may die, I shall rise again to spend eternity with him. For my sins he died, but rose again and ascended into heaven to be one with the Father. I believe that one day this same Lord Jesus Christ will descend from heaven and with a shout. As with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of trumpet, the dead in Christ will rise again. For if I remain in Christ, I, together with the resurrected dead in Christ, shall be caught up together with Christ and in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thereon shall spend eternity with our Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for planting this truth in my heart through the Holy Spirit, which you sent to all believers upon your ascension into heaven. Thank you, Savior, for the restorative joy seated in my heart today. May your Holy Spirit continue to feed your word in my heart, that it may grow within me and to make me stronger each day. Thank you, blessed Savior, for your divine grace every day. Because I have trusted, I believe it shall be granted unto me by faith. Amen. Dear sisters and brethren in Christ, if heaven is real, then hell ought to be real too. Not my words, but the true word of God tells us this. For me, to spend eternity with Jesus in heaven one day, together with all the heavenly hosts, is the day I look forward to most throughout my days on this earth. According to the Bible, what we need to do to spend eternity in heaven is to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We need to live every day reading and studying His Word. This is how we feed and nurture our relationship with Christ, to take in the Word of God daily. Prayer is what connects us with the Father. So, we shall pray without ceasing. Dearly beloved, if we want to spend eternity in damnation, in the hell where God is reserved for the devil and his angels, then we need not do anything, just follow the word of truth. I trust that, taking time to hear the word of God today, you know that heaven is the place God has prepared for you. Therefore, the sufferings of this world is nothing compared to the eternal joy that awaits us as believers in Christ. I would like you to remember this whenever you feel the harsh blows of the devil, or simply feel worn out by the cares, troubles, and challenges of this life. There is a Redeemer. We as Christians or lovers of God's truth have a Redeemer. And this Redeemer is in the person of Jesus Christ. Yes, his name is Jesus, and he, indeed, is the giver of eternal life. I can say boldly today that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. And so, I want to encourage you be bold. Stand firm as a believer. So, do not be afraid. Do not allow the enemy to tell you differently to the true word of God which you already know my dearly beloved. God's word is true, and it has always been, from the beginning of creation. Yes, the word of truth. The devil is a liar. I want you to remember this dearly beloved. 1 John 2 verse 22. It reads, Who is a liar, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. The devil comes to kill or steal away our joy in Christ. I therefore entreat you to plant the word of God 
deep and firm in your hearts and minds today. For the Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 10, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. As strong believers in Christ, do not allow any other words to sound louder than the true word of God. We do know this truth now and always will, that Jesus is Lord and Jesus is King. Hey, saints in Christ, we cannot be silent anymore. Not by the world, nor its cares and worries. Not by the false doctrines of men, nor by the wicked plots and devices of the devil. Today we live for Jesus Christ. And for this, we will not let our hearts be troubled. Any uncertainty, any fear, any worry, any stresses in life. We leave all and it all under the cross. Christ will take care of all the troubles. I face in Jesus' name, amen. I do hope that our joy restorative ministry brought to you today will enlighten your spirit, bring peace and healing that you need in your life this very day. Christ alone is the joy and light of our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for lifting this burden off me today. My heart will rejoice always. Amen. God bless you for listening. I do hope that you can join us in one of our upcoming live prayer sessions or simply revisit our channel and listen to our spirit-filled motivations if you have not yet done. So, please go ahead and subscribe, put on the notification button, so you know when our next videos get posted. Please continue to like and share to increase the reach of this online Christian ministry. Until next time, feel empowered and attain new heights to restore your joy. God bless you. Bye-bye.